are hoping we're gonna reach the Guinness Book of World Records as the biggest explosion ever in cinematic history. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that broke unusual world records. I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. Fox, people swear. No, it's not. Not really. No, I don't. I, I see this as an absolute win. For this list, we'll be looking at films that accomplished unique things during their production process or after they were released. Although some of these records have since been broken or will be in the future, all of these films have earned a place in cinema history. Did any of these records surprise you? Let us know about it in the comments. All right, let's get into it. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, most directors of one film, The Owner. I need you to find the bag on this month issue, page 181. It's not unheard of for a movie to have multiple directors, but The Owner took the concept to a whole different level. The movie, which follows a lost backpack traveling across the globe, was directed by an astonishing 25 different people. Each director had the opportunity to continue the storyline in their own unique way in a different location. By the end of the production process, the indie anthology film featured locations from five continents and highlighted places like Hong Kong, Sao Paulo, and Cape Town. The owner's amazing number of directors got the movie into the Guinness Book of World Records in 2013. As of 2021, those 25 directors still hold the record. It's the same backpack he wore last time I saw him. Look, this is what I was looking for. Number nine, longest time running on camera in a movie, Cartolina da Roma, also known as Postcards from Rome. If you want to beat this next record, you're gonna need a good pair of shoes. Back in the late 2000s, Giulio Bassi directed and starred in Cartolina da Roma. The film follows a man traveling through Rome on foot with his dog. Basse spent one hour, 14 minutes, and 10 seconds running on film. His excellent cardio got the attention of Guinness World Records officials, and they officially recognized this film as featuring, quote, the longest time spent running in a film. Before Cartolina da Roma was released, we would have thought Forrest Gump held the record. That day, for no particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. Oh well, apparently he's still got a lot of running to do if he wants to catch up. I had run for three years, Two months, 14 days, and 16 hours. Number eight, longest one take movie to feature over 1,000 extras Russian Ark. Long before movies like 1917 blew us away with uninterrupted shots, an experimental film became historic for shooting everything in one unedited take. Russian Ark follows a narrator and his ally walking through various rooms of a museum. The various locations represent different time periods and historical figures from Russian history. This breathtaking journey was captured by rolling the camera for over 80 minutes without stopping. It miraculously took four attempts to get the footage. And if that wasn't impressive enough, there were over 1,000 extras involved in the project. The insane coordination behind the scenes and tons of performers got the movie in the history books. At the time of its release, Russian Ark became the longest single-take movie to feature that many people. Number 7. Most canon roles in a car captured on film. Casino Royale. I think something is driving you. I don't think I'll never find out what that is. When Bond's ally Vesper Lind is kidnapped, Bond immediately races after her and his Aston Martin. The chase takes a shocking turn when he sees her tied up in the middle of the road. To avoid hitting her, Bond quickly turns the wheel and ends up getting into a horrific crash. His Aston Martin rolls seven times before coming to a complete stop. This set the record for most cannon rolls in a car ever captured on film. Although Bond was left a little banged up from the crash, stuntman Adam Curley pulled off the stunt without sustaining any severe injuries. You okay? Me? Hey. Thank you. Thanks to him, Daniel Craig's first Bond movie contains an unforgettable and record-breaking scene. Congratulations. You know, I think the celebration's in order. You were almost dead an hour ago. 
Number 6. Highest on-screen body count. Guardians of the Galaxy. You've heard of this. You've seen this, right? You know what that is. Yeah. yeah. Everyone knows. No. no. Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the funniest films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But it also became the movie with the highest on-screen body count back in the mid-2010s. A major reason for this big number is the Battle of Xandar. During the climactic conflict, around 83,000 Nova Corps pilots lose their lives. Hold on, sir! Just When that number is combined with all the other beings killed throughout the film, you get a stunning 83,871 fatalities. Since this record was set with the first Guardians of the Galaxy film, it's arguable that 2018's Avengers Infinity War has it beat. That being said, the snap also makes things complicated. Even if it's no longer number one, we are sure that Thanos was impressed by the film's high mortality rate. This day extracts a heavy toll. Still, he accomplished his mission. You may regret that. Number 5. Most Oscar nominations without winning any. The Turning Point and The Color Purple. Being nominated for an Academy Award is an incredibly significant honor. Isn't it wonderful? Aren't you excited? Oh yeah, I'm so proud of you. I was so excited. The Turning Point, a drama about love and betrayal in the world of ballet, garnered 11 nominations from the Academy. Nearly a decade later, The Color Purple, a movie about the many obstacles African-American women had to overcome in the early 1900s, received the same number of Oscar nods. But neither movie took home a single award. All my life I had to fight. I had to fight my daddy, I had to fight my uncles, I had to fight my brothers. While we won't cover all 22 nominations, it's worth noting the films they lost Best Picture to. Turning Point was beaten out by Annie Hall, while The Color Purple was defeated by Out of Africa. Even without any Oscar wins, however, these two Academy Award-nominated dramas have gone down in the history books. Number 4. Most Extras in One Movie – Gandhi No, no, no. Just a moment, please. You see? Mohandas K. Gandhi, attorney at law. The 1982 movie Gandhi depicts important events in the lawyer-slash-advocate-slash-activist's life, including his tragic end. So when it came time to depict his funeral, the production did not settle for just a few extras. According to the Guinness World Records website, over 300,000 people were brought in to mourn Gandhi for the movie. The object of this massive tribute died as he had always lived, a private man without wealth, without property, without official title or office. It took 11 camera crews and around 20,000 feet of film to capture the footage. And did we mention that they shot it all over the course of just one morning? In the end, all of the hard work and coordination paid off. The resulting footage made for a moving tribute to Gandhi and an impressive world record. Generations to come will scarce believe that such a one as this, ever in flesh and blood, walked upon this earth. Number 3. Most Swearing in One Film Swearnet, the movie Like we said before, guys, if you're willing to do another toned-down version of Trailer Park Boys, then our network will certainly well, we listen. can. While movies like The Wolf of Wall Street and Pulp Fiction have tons of cursing, neither can hold a candle to Swearnet, the movie. This comedy follows the cast of Trailer Park Boys playing themselves as they embark on a quest to create content for a completely uncensored, fictional internet network. Guinness counts a total of 868 swear words, but other sources report that the F word alone is said 935 times. People swear. No, it's not. Not really. No. I don't. Whatever the exact figure, Swearnet's staggering amount of expletives helped it secure an NC-17 rating. While critics gave the film an average score of 20% on Rotten Tomatoes, the audience score sits comfortably around 61%. So clearly there is a market for this sort of vulgar tale. It really was a dumb stunt, Bill. I don't know who Swearman is, but uh, clearly a publicity stunt of some sort. And not a good one either. Number 2. Largest Movie Stunt Explosion – Spectre I said, doesn't time fly? Casino Royale wasn't the last Bond film to make history. Spectre made an explosive entry into the Guinness World Record books with this impressive stunt. During the film, Bond escapes from a huge enemy facility before watching it get blown to bits. The production team used over 8,000 liters, or roughly 2,100 gallons of kerosene to create the explosion. The detonation yield? 
it was equivalent to 68.47 tons of TNT. Each explosion has a tiny microcomputer inside it, so it's really safe and really reliable. The massive and powerful display of pyrotechnics is absolutely awe-inspiring to look at. Even James Bond, who has probably seen about a million explosions at this point, stopped to look at the blast. This gigantic explosion isn't likely to be topped anytime soon, unless 007 needs to blow something even bigger up. Largest explosion in the history of movies. Exit frame, cut. Wouldn't you have thought that largest movie explosion would go to Michael Bay? You think he's gonna see this video and think he's been issued a challenge? Anyway, what weird movie record do you think is at number one? Let's break down some honorable mentions and then we'll see. First remake to win a Best Picture Oscar, The Departed. It's still the only remake that's accomplished this feat. I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. Becoming the movie to gross $1 billion the fastest, Avengers Endgame. It accomplished this feat in just five days. What? I, I see this as an absolute win. Best Advanced Ticket Sales, Animated Film. Pokemon, Giratina, and the Sky Warrior. It sold a record 2,384,198 tickets before its opening. Ash, Pikachu! I'm glad you're safe! Thanks, Giratina saved us! Most successful sports movie franchise, the Rocky franchise. Balboa has found success in the ring and at the box office. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Longest production cycle for a live-action movie, The Other Side of the Wind. The choice of this material is an attempt to sketch a film likeness of the man himself as he looked through all those different viewfinders. In 1970, legendary filmmaker Orson Welles began shooting footage for The Other Side of the Wind. The experimental movie centered around a filmmaker who was working on an unfinished movie that, unbeknownst to his knowledge, would be his last. Projection of Mr. Hannibal's motion picture, The Other Side of the Wind, will naturally be suspended till the juice comes on. This plot ended up reflecting real life for Welles. After filming was stopped multiple times because of finance issues, including a producer reportedly embezzling money, it was completed by 1976. Unfortunately, Wells was unable to finish editing it before passing away in 1985. For decades, legal issues kept the film from being completed, with various people working on post-production during the 2010s. Ultimately, Netflix stepped in and released The Other Side of the Wind in 2018. Judging by its score of 84% on Rotten Tomatoes, it was worth the record-breaking 48-year wait. So all you that missed the closing reels can now view this material from the comfort of your own cars. Thank you and good night. Speaking of Orson Welles, do you know the last movie to which he contributed before his death? The Transformers the Movie, Unicron. Very interesting career that guy had. Anyway, um, be sure to let us know in the comments if you learned anything from this video, or if you have any other weird movie records that you would like to share with us. Or come tell me on Twitter or Instagram, at Rebecca Brayton, or on my YouTube channel. See ya. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.